Hi there, I'm Black Bike, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Um, I just wanted to talk about investing in Jamaica. I am going to have to read it, I'm afraid. Um, I might add lib a little bit, but basically it's not, it's not coming from me per se, but I thought it was important to share this information. So that is why I'm going to read it. Okay, and I'm going to put the links below. So, um, investing in Jamaica, the Ministry, the Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Honourable Nigel Clark, is encouraging citizens to take full advantage of the unprecedented period of economic growth by investing in Jamaica. Now is the time to ensure that you invest in Jamaica. It is a time not to be missed. It is an opportunity that we have not had before and there is a transformation that is occurring and those who pay attention and take advantage of opportunities in the few years will be the ones who are ahead, he said. Dr. Clark was speaking at the third annual Mayor's Charity Ball, which was held at the South Hotel in Montego Bay, St. James, on Saturday the 7th of December, which was last Saturday. Uh, the minister outlined that the island is experiencing an incredible period of economic opportunity and never before have the major macro variables been aligned in the way they are today. He noted that the unemployment rate, which is the lowest in 57 years, are coupled with 19 consecutive quarters of economic growth and low and stable inflation are among the contributing factors to the current upswing in the economy. The minister also cited the privatisation of a number of entities as among a number of initiatives that give citizens an opportunity for economic freedom. So, how do you go about investing in Jamaica? Well, I found um, the stock exchange. I'm not recommending it. It's just that I found it and I thought, you know, at least gives you an idea of how, one of the ways you can invest in Jamaica. So investing in Jamaica Stock Exchange, I'm going to put the link. And so I've just extracted some key points, but the whole of the information is in the link. Um, as of April the 2019, the average interest rate given to consumers on a regular savings account in commercial bank in Jamaica was 0.65 cents per annum. That means if you left 10,000 Jamaican dollars in one of those accounts for one year, you would get back 65 Jamaican dollars back in interest on top of your money and the fees and taxes would have to come out of it. So step one, to invest in the Jamaican Stock Exchange, you're going to need a broker. Um, he says, do your research on choosing the one that's right for you based on your needs and their benefits. Now, I read once that you can get actually an automated, um, an automated broker. Um, which means that they kind of search all the um, they search all the stocks and whatever, and they come up with certain things, and then they put your money in for you. So you don't have that interaction with a person to person. I don't know if they do that in Jamaica, but look it up. Look at the different options for brokers. Okay. Um, the next thing you need to do is open an account. It's like opening a bank account. You need to open it. It's called an equity account or stock trading account or securities account. So it's going to be called one of those three things. Many brokers call their equity accounts different things, but once you explain that you want to trade stocks, they'll know what you mean. Then they might try to dissuade you. The writer, the author, has said, I've found that brokers often prefer to put your money in one of their pre-packaged investment products for whatever reason. They usually use the lower risk of a managed product like a fixed deposit or a mutual fund as a selling point. Look out for this. It would likely start like, are you sure? Stocks are dangerous. You could lose all your money. You need an expert to analyze the market for you. Why not try out XYZ product instead? So don't get caught by this, he says. Yes, stocks aren't as simple as a fixed deposit, and it's true that they carry more risk, but you already knew that. 
You're going to be doing your research. You're not going in blindly. Press on and get your account opened. They will likely require the following things. A completed application form, proof of identity, tax registration number, proof of address, proof and source of income. References for you. Um, this depends on the broker. Some brokers accept references from other long-standing clients. Um, money. All accounts require some money to get started. The minimum is set by your broker. You don't lose this money, rather it is placed in your equity account after the broker creates one for you. And just like a regular bank, it remains your money to use how you wish. So be prepared to supply these things to get the account open. If you go for a person-to-person -person broker, make sure she or he has an online trading platform. In 2019, they all should have one. Then you would also want to sign any indemnity forms that they may have. These forms allow you to instruct your broker on trades using electronic communication tools, which is emails, faxes, phone calls, etc. Ask and sign for every applicable indemnity form they have. This may save you a world of headaches later on. I would really check that out, to be honest. Really check it out, especially if it's the first time. I would go to two or three brokers, see if they say the same things or how they approach you. I wouldn't just go to one and just get a feeling. I would even go to more than three. I'd go to about six, because if you go to about six, you're going to get a feeling of how each one, um, what they tell you, what they expect of you, what you have to give them and stuff like that. And then you can kind of make an informed decision. If it's just one or two, you're not going to really know what you're, you know, what you're getting into. And respect the research. You have, you now have a broker, the account and the money. Technically, you can start trading right away, but a smart investor does their research first and prepares their tools before acting. As a new investor, you want to be smart, not reckless. Stocks are influenced by information, so be prepared to read and learn about the companies on JSE. Three key places for your attention should be the business news. The Jamaican Observers business section is a great place to find out industry happenings and the stock market information. You've got JSE's website, um, that's jamstock, jamstockx.com www.jamstockx.com is the stock exchange official online home and there you get not just market news and listed companies financials report but they also have a wealth of further learning tools there educational resources are much more no stockholder should ever be unfamiliar with this website your stockbroker. A good stockbroker doesn't only carry out trades on your behalf, they should also provide information like valuations of companies, upcoming market events, like annual general meetings, etc., or dangerous picks to avoid, and other things like that. A good broker lets you know early and advises you on not just what they think is good, but also tells you why something is good and when to expect the benefits from it. This was produced by Randy Rowe, he's the author, and says, never forget that profit is the motive and financial literacy is the key. He says, follow the steps to get the account open and you'll be on the right path. Randy Rowe is a strategy consultant and lead writer for www.everymickle.com. He started teaching himself to invest almost 20 years ago and is still learning to this day. He believes slow learners are underrated and he may be biased. OK, and that's all for now. So I hope you find that interesting, just in case you do feel like um, investing. That might be one way. I mean, you can always invest in property. You can invest in, you know, you can uh, have a company, start your own company. That is an investment. So you don't only oh, can invest in Bitcoin, although I'm not quite sure about that. And Bitcoin isn't really investing in Jamaica. So you can kind of think, do I want to invest in property? Do I want to invest? And who is it benefiting? Just make sure that, you know, there's mutual benefit and you're doing the right thing with the right people at the right time. Everything is to do with timing and contacts and networks and inquiries and research, research, research. You cannot underestimate research when you're thinking about investing anywhere in the world, let alone Jamaica. OK, and that's all for now. Bye bye.